Welcome to Vet Ranch, I'm Dr. Matt. This scared dog is named Gregor. Come here, bud. And he doesn't really trust me yet. I just met him a few seconds ago. Come here. Good boy. Good boy, come here. He was at um, the pound. They were going to euthanize him today, but instead he has come to Vet Ranch. He has some really bad wounds on his neck. Come here, bud, it's okay. Good boy. See if he'll let me see him. I haven't even looked at him yet. Oh my gosh. I would guess bite wounds from another dog, but definitely needs a little attention. The, uh, the pound did clip them just to see what was going on there. They found that he had some serious wounds and uh, without veterinary care, they put him on the euthanasia list. He was picked up, I think, just an hour or two before he was scheduled to be euthanized. Got him under anesthesia and I barely touched this wound and blood started coming out. I'm gonna get him flipped over, try to get a better look at what all's going on. Here's what we got, about a four inch hole right there in his neck. He looks like an old dog because he's so dirty and ugly looking right now, but he has no tartar on his teeth. He's probably about one and a half, I'd guess. All right, I've scrubbed all of the tissue around this. I flushed out the inside of this wound. I'm gonna cut fresh edges on all the edges down here. Nice hole right there. And uh, then I'm gonna put a drain tube in here so that this thing can drain and that pus will have somewhere to go besides just building up underneath those sutures. I have the drain coming out of a hole just on this side of the laceration and one coming out of a hole just on this side of laceration. So these things are always interesting to try to piece together and figure out where they came from. I have a little piece that I pinched together right there and sutured up and then I've sutured this part up right here. Now I'm just going to have to figure out how to close this and that little hole there. Not the most beautiful thing in the world, but he didn't give me a whole lot to work with. One more wound over here on his neck that needs sutures. Have that one sutured up. All these little punctures and everything, all these scabs, they'll all heal well on their own. He's gonna be on antibiotics, so they should heal up nicely. Going to go ahead and neuter him now, and he has little fleas crawling everywhere even though I gave him something to kind of get rid of some of the fleas. So um, when he's waking up from the neuter, I'll probably go ahead and give him a flea bath. Um, he needs just a bath anyway, just all this dirt. But look, all this stuff that you can see in his hair, that is all flea dirt, just from fleas pooping in his hair. Nasty, he has big ticks on him too. Pretty gross. Bathing him while he wakes up, and you can see once I got all this stuff wet, a lot of the scabs fell off, so you can really see the extent of how much um, trauma there was here. Also, a lot of this hair will just pull right off of him because the skin is so damaged. Look at all that. It won't do it down here, but up here on his neck, just pulls right off. So he's probably gonna lose all this hair in the next few days because that skin is just so damaged. Um, up here that it's just dropping all of the hair. He's doing well, still pretty groggy after that long anesthesia. I'm gonna go ahead and put him up in his kennel and let him get some rest now. It has been four days since we did his surgery and I am pulling his drain tube out. It's still dripping a little bit, but not much anymore. So I'm gonna pull it out so those holes can heal up and he's actually doing really good. Let me get this one little stitch. And this is gonna be kind of gross if you're squeamish. There it goes. You can see all these little scabs look a lot better than they did. They're slowly healing up. And I think this is all gonna hold pretty well down here. This will be, this is just a big mat. We're gonna give him a big bath after this to get all this nasty drainage, dried discharge all cleaned up. And uh, otherwise he's doing well. He's eating good, gaining weight, and he's um, becoming a lot less scared of us and um, starting to trust us a little bit. So. We'll give you an update um, in another few days. It's been two and a half weeks since we did Gregor's surgery, and I'm just gonna pull all these stitches out. I think he is all healed up and he's doing really well. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. All right, we got all the stitches out. He still has a little spot here that needs a little extra healing time, so we'll probably keep another week and let this uh, heal up a little further. I'm gonna keep on some antibiotics. But he is a happy dog and seems to be doing great. So we'll give you an update when he's ready to go home. It's been a few weeks since we first got old Gregor and patched him up and he's doing really well. I'm gonna take this collar off. You can see we have a collar on him because he's not hurt anymore. 
Let's see if he'll let me look at this thing. Good boy. See, his neck still has a little bit of healing to go. He really wants to go running right now. There's a little bit of healing to go, but it's looking great. All right, you ready, bud? Go! See it? Good boy. As always, thanks for watching Vet Ranch. Thank you for supporting us, both in just being here and enjoying our videos, and also those who donate to our cause. We are a nonprofit organization, so thank you for everyone who's helping us in both those ways and helping dogs like Greg. We can make a huge difference with them just by fixing injuries to make them into adoptable dogs. So now Greg is gonna go to a, um, a rescue organization that is no kill. He will stay there until he is fostered or adopted, and I don't think it's gonna take him very long because he is a pretty awesome dog. Come on, bud. So again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Some of you may recognize this old dog. This dog was a viral video superstar. This is Buddy from the video Dog vs. Deer. I will put it in a link at the bottom of the screen. It went on Ellen and went all over CNN and all over the world and has had several million views. And this is old Bud.